CPS students and families. We hope each of you is healthy and enjoying this beautiful spring. Welcome to another Read Aloud. This week, we are reading the story, The Tiny Seed, written and illustrated by Eric Carle. Eric Carle wrote all the words and drew all the illustrations. So he is the author and illustrator of this story. The tiny seed is about the life cycle of a flower. The story begins when a flower pod bursts and sends out its seeds in the wind. Not all of the seeds survive the journey, but the tiny seed lands in good soil and begins to grow. Listen as we ask and answer questions during this read aloud. We will even focus some of our questions on the major events in the story. After you listen to the story, we will ask you a few more questions for you to think about and talk about with someone at home. Then you will see two different writing prompts. You may choose one or both prompts to write about. You can even share your writing with your teacher. Finally, we will give you a few ideas for how to extend and enrich your learning and have some fun. We hope you enjoy The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. Today's read aloud is The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl, one of my favorite stories. A special thank you to Scholastic for allowing us to read this story together today. This story tells about the long journey and life of a tiny seed alongside many other seeds. As we read together, I want you to be thinking about the different things that happen to the seeds along the way. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? Sometimes authors will give us questions to think about while we are reading, like this one did. Will the tiny seed be able to keep up with the others? Where are all the seeds going? What do you think? Whisper your idea to someone sitting next to you at home. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. What happened to some of the seeds on this page? Can you find the tiny seed? Point to it. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Why can't the seed grow on an icy mountain? Do you see the tiny seed? He's having a hard time keeping up. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. Can you find the tiny seed? Why might the tiny seed be in danger if it doesn't fly as high as the other seeds? Whisper your idea to someone at home.
One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Can you see the tiny seed on this page? Point to it. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Do you see it? Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. What are some things the tiny seed was able to avoid on the last few pages? Well, the tiny seed didn't get eaten by a bird or by this mouse. Why not? Whisper your idea to someone close by. If you said it's because he is so tiny that he wasn't seen, you are right. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and full they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then, their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed, and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants. And that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally, it starts to grow into a plant. Which plant is the tiny seed? Remember, the author told us it is the plant that started growing the latest. Does that mean the tiny seed is a big or small plant right now? Small. Point to the tiny seed and its plant. There it is, in between those two plants on the right side of the screen. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child does not see the plants as he runs along and oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. Some things have happened to the plants because of people on the last few pages. Can you name them? That's right, someone stepped on a flower and someone else picked a flower for his friend. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. 
The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. What happened to the tiny seed? Whisper to someone nearby. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower, and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. This story has taken us through all of the four seasons. Can you name the four seasons? Autumn, winter, spring, and summer. Autumn is another word for the fall. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away in the wind. The end. Now that you've listened to the tiny seed, let's talk about it. In the beginning of the story, Eric Carl, the author, asked if you thought the tiny seed would keep going. Did the tiny seed keep going? Where did it go? This book is fiction because it is a made-up story, but parts of this book include real facts. Which details in the story were real facts? Which part of the story was make-believe? How do you know the difference? Can you remember all of the things that happened to the other seeds throughout the story? Did you remember that the sun burned up the first seed? What happened to the rest of the seeds? Now it's your turn to write about it. You may choose one or both writing prompts to write about. Draw a flower. Be sure to include all four parts of a flower. The roots, the stem, leaves, and the flower. Label each part of your flower. Then Write a sentence or two about the flower.
Do you remember the stages of the seed during the different seasons? Which season was it when the seed was just a seed? When did the seed turn into a plant? When was it full of colorful petals as a flower? When did the flower lose the petals and release its seeds? Try to write a sentence about each stage of the flower during each season. Now it's time to have some fun. You can choose from any of the following activities. Use construction paper, popsicle sticks, crayons, or some other art supplies to create a giant flower. Add the stem and leaves. Try to even add roots to the bottom of your flower. Give your flower to someone important to you to show them how much you love them. Find some seeds on the ground, such as acorns, helicopter or whirler seeds from maple trees, dandelion puff seeds, or any seeds you can find. Ask someone if they can help you plant that seed somewhere safe. Check on the seed for a few weeks to watch what happens. Go outside on a day that is windy. See what kinds of things are being blown around by the wind. Pick up a leaf, blade of grass, or something else lightweight and let the wind take it from your hand. See where it goes but don't follow it too far. We hope you enjoyed today's read aloud of The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle, and we wish you continued health and happiness, and we really hope to see you soon. Take care. Hello, first grade readers and writers. This week is going to be a lot of fun. It's a review week. We are going to get to decode words with the long A spelled A-I, the long E spelled E-A, the long O spelled O-A. These are sounds that you know really well. We know our long vowel cards and we have been working on these sounds. A gets to say A, E gets to say E, O gets to say O. But what makes them a little tricky is they have a lot of spelling patterns with those sounds. We are going to focus on A I saying A, E A saying E, and O A saying O this week. But first, let's do a little practice listening to sounds. I'm going to say a word. I want you to repeat the word and then I want you to tell me the vowel sound. Let's do one together as a practice. If the word was wise, wise, I. Okay, that's that vowel sound, I. Say the word faith, faith, A. A, that vowel sound is what we're wanting, okay? Say the word steep, steep. What's the vowel sound? E, say the word pen. Eh, good, that's the vowel sound. Say the word hop. What's the vowel sound? Ah, say the word win. What's the vowel sound? Eh, good. Say the word hope. What's the vowel sound? O. Say the word cute. 
What's the bell sound? You, you, good. Say the word flop. What's the bell sound? Ah. Say the word fast. What's the bell sound? Ah. Excellent. All right, it is time. We are going to, because it's a review, we're gonna have a little bit of a challenge today. You're not gonna see each spelling pattern in its own beautiful row. You're gonna see them all mixed together. And this is what good readers and writers do. We find the spelling pattern. We remember the sound that those letters make, and then we blend the word. So I am going to reveal all of these words, okay? Sometimes we have a book and they're all out there for us to read. So I want you to go one at a time. We're gonna go slow through these. But the first thing I want you to do is tell me the vowel spelling you see. In this word, we'll go word at a time and I'll show you how they connect. But in the first word, what is the vowel spelling that you see? A-I. Remember that A-I is going to say A. Let's start blending. Sound, r, sound, A. Sound, n, rain. What's the word? Rain. Tell me the vowel spelling. Shout it out. O-A. What does O-A say? O. Ready? Sound, k, sound, O sound Tch. blend coat what's the word coat what was this word rain put them together rain coat what is it raincoat tell me the vowel spelling in this word hmm i see an e and i see an a next to it e a together they're going to say that long e sound e so let's blend sound, t, sound, r, sound, e, sound, t. Take your time. Treat, treat. Good. Now, where is the vowel spelling in this word? Shout out the letters so I can underline them. A, I. Excellent. You found them? Underline them. Ready, we got a lot of sounds in this one. Ready, read, sound, 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 sound. Take our time, sprain, sprain. What's the word? Sprain, good. What is the vowel spelling in this word? I kind of tricked you, didn't I? I tucked in a little E-E, -E, not just E-A. Okay, ready? Sound, G, sound, R, sound, E, sound, N. Ready, blend? Green, green. Vowel spelling in this word? There's our E-A, E-A says E. Ready, go, B, E, N. Bean, bean. Let's put these two words together. Ready, read. What is it? Green bean. Okay, now I have a multisyllabic word and I know exactly what to do. First, tell me those vowel sounds you see. I see a I. I don't just see a and an I. I see a I together, which makes a. Good. What do I see? I see O-A, and O-A is going to make that long O sound. So I'm going to cover up my, <laughs> cover up my second syllable. Ready, sound, s, sound, A, sound, L, sail. What's the word? Sail. That first syllable is sail. Okay, ready, sound, B, sound, O, sound, T. Boat, what's the word? Boat, first syllable, sail. Second syllable, boat, put it together. Sail boat, good. Let's read these really fast. All on you, ready, read. Raincoat, 
treat. Sprain. Sprain. Green bean. Good. Sailboat. Because we're reviewing, I want to try an activity where I'm going to tell you the word I want to spell. If you have paper in front of you and a pen, you can write this down with me. So I'm going to just move a little slow. So if you want to go grab that paper, you can. But I'm going to tell you a word and we are going to tap out those sounds and then identify what letter would go with those sounds. Okay, if you're ready and you have your paper, you can do it with me, but you also can just watch the video and see us do it together. The first word is seat. Say seat. Hmm, I hear s-e-t, seat. I hear three sounds in the word s e t. What's the first s? What is the letter that makes the s sound? S, the spelling that makes the s sound. What is the spelling that makes the e sound? If we're looking at our review, e is going to be e a this week. Good. C t, that final sound, what is the spelling? T. S eat. If I were writing this word, it would be S E A T. If you want to write it with me, go for it. Seat. Let's do another word. If we were listening for the word loan, say loan. Tap out those sounds with me. L O N. I heard three sounds. Three sounds. I'm going to give three lines. L, spelling, L, O, spelling, O, A, loan, N, spelling, N, good, loan is L, O, A, N, loan, that's a messy O, I'm so sorry, loan, the last word that we're going to do is the word Plain. Say it. Plain. P. L. A. N. I'm going to do that again. P. L. A. N. I hear four sounds in that word. P. What's the first spelling? P. L. What's the second? L. L. A. What spelling? A I. N. Plain. N. N. Good job. Plain is P L A I N. Plain. Thanks for reading with me today. Happy reading.